My friends, I think you like comparisons as much as I do. So in today's video, let's talk a bit about makeup, kind of more of the makeup skincare hybrids. And we're gonna do this in a comparison format. We are gonna do five new and trendy K-Beauty makeup products on half of my face. And then on the other half of my face, five new and trendy makeup products from Western brands. I have already worn this look for a full day and I, I have to tell you, this is so much more interesting of a conversation than I, I could have known when I first had this idea. So we're definitely going to have a lot to chat about in today's video as well. As always, timestamps and links are in the description box below if you're maybe only interested in one category. Otherwise, let's get right into it with one quick disclaimer. I am saying this is K-Beauty. We do have a C-Beauty product and a J-Beauty product as well. And my skin type is dry, acne prone, and a bit sensitive, but I do have a preference for more matte foundations. Okay. Let's get into it. I wanna start with the category of primer. I love this category because to me, this is the most skincare category in makeup. What's so funny is I feel I've spoken to people who say things like, ah, oh, primer is a scam. All it is is moisturizer. And I don't necessarily disagree. I do think that the smartest primer you can use regardless of your skin type and your preferences is sunscreen. And so, given the topic today, K-Beauty versus Western, let me just go ahead and say it is a clear, clear winner for the Asian beauty brands. This is a J-Beauty sunscreen that I grabbed today. It is the Kiss Me Mommy SPF 50+, PA4+, and you know, you see the application of this and it, it just speaks for itself. As I've said many times, brands in the US are held back by our very own regulations. We are the ones that force brands to use older filters while these Asian brands are using newer, more advanced, and simply better filters. There are a lot of options to choose from. I went with this one because it is one of those alcohol-free J Beauty sunscreens. This was a subscriber rec and I'm so happy that it was recommended to me. It is a great option for those of you who want alcohol-free sunscreens. And I just can't stress enough how everybody should start your skincare routine that way with that full quarter teaspoon amount of sunscreen. It is for the best for everyone. But there is a subcategory of primer where it's kind of more about correcting concerns in your skin. For example, we have pore filling primers that address the appearance of pores. You simply press these products into your pores to create a smooth canvas to apply your foundation on. And lo and behold, that is our very first Western product for this video. This is a new release from Milk Makeup. It's called their Pore Eclipse matte blur stick. This is such a smart release because again, a lot of the trick with these pore filling primers is the motion of pushing them into your pores. You know, you're not actually changing or removing pores. <laughs> you're improving the appearance of them cosmetically. So you have to kind of push these products in just a bit. And since this primer is in stick form, it makes it kind of intuitive to apply it that way. Uh, by the way, I'm really picky with milk makeup, but this is actually, this is actually a hit for me, even though again, I have a dry skin type. I like this as a pore filling primer. I feel like there's not as many options in K-Beauty makeup for correcting skin concerns, which I think makes sense because K-Beauty skincare is, you know, so exhaustive in what it treats. But I have noticed quite a few of these color correcting products appearing in primer options from K-Beauty. This is one from News, which is, I believe, a bit of a newer brand. If I'm understanding correctly, they are a sister brand to Romand. I chose this as one of my gifted products from the Yes Style Influencer Program. And I have to say, I like it. Beautiful glass packaging on this nice, generous size. The catch with this, and this is gonna be such a consistent problem with K-Beauty, is that you can see it's a, a light green, almost kind of a lot of a white base. A lot of complexion products in K-Beauty are going to be for a fair to light skin tone. But color correcting absolutely can have a place. The principle is, of course, green is opposite from red on the color wheel, so you add in a bit of green to cancel out red. 
just make sure you go light with this product category. Color correcting is something where, uh, it, you know, you correct, not replace. <laughs> you don't want to use so much of a green color corrector that you become green. The point is just to cancel out the redness. And in true K-beauty nature, this has such a nice ingredients list. We're talking about ceramides in your primer step. A nice list of antioxidants. It, it reads exactly like a makeup skincare hybrid because it is. And this product comes in four different options. There are two that contain SPF and two color correctors. Between these two, I feel like this category is the hardest of all to rate. Which do I like more? Well, kind of neither because it really depends on your concerns. You know, if you don't have redness in your skin, there's no reason to buy a green color corrector. If you are fine with the appearance of your pores, there's no reason to buy a pore stick. So what it really comes down to with the primer category is for everyone, it's Asian beauty that wins with sunscreens. Let's move on to foundation products next. I am absurdly excited for this category. So we are gonna be testing the Urban Decay Face Bond versus Moonshot's Performance Cushion. Let me just be honest with you that uh, these would probably be a better comparison. I'm sure you've all heard of the Tear Tear foundation, especially the red one. But I'm also just flat out of the red cushion, and I don't think I want to buy it again. But I have been thinking about something. I feel like there is such an in for any other K-Beauty brand to expand their shade range in the way that Tear Tear did. Think about it. Tear Tear expanded their foundation and went viral absolutely viral globally because they created a cushion foundation for everyone. But then they went and made weird decisions, right? We talked about this in my tier tier review. So a lot of people haven't wanted to support the brand in spite of, you know, getting one thing right, they got something else quite wrong. <laughs> so you see how there's such an in for K-beauty brands to go, oh, well, what if we expand our shade range and then, you know, don't give Michaela a Birkin? <laughs> Anyway, I'd love to see that because, you know, let's be honest here. I, I believe in being honest. K-beauty brands do not have wide enough shade ranges for everyone in the world. And that holds them back. Whereas this Urban Decay Face Bond came out in 40 shades. 40. And that's how it is in the U.S. You need to come out with a wide shade range. This is really a nice product. <laughs> I'm going to try to use a little more of this than I did last time I did this comparison because... I did notice that uh, I had more coverage on the other side of my face. I bought this because I was hearing so many good things about this, even though, again, it claims to be a product for oily to combination skin. It's semi-matte, but you know what? I like that. I will tell you this dries down quickly. I was able to pull off this application because I'm only applying it to half my face, but uh, that would be my tip to you if you are interested in this foundation is apply it kind of in sections because once it dries down, you cannot work with it and it's a waterproof foundation. And because the trends have turned to this really fast makeup routine that is just really natural looking, I feel like one of the biggest selling points of this foundation is that you don't need to set it with powder and yeah it actually stays that turns out to be quite a nice perk it really does speed up your morning makeup routine let's do a cushion foundation for the other side I chose this one from moonshot because it kind of has a similar description to the one from urban decay this is sweat proof semi matte which is already hard enough to find in cushion foundations I kind of love the packaging of this Moonshot cushion. It is quite different from most cushion foundations, but with all cushion foundations, you open it up, press to collect some of your product, and you simply press them into your skin. It's a very easy and convenient application. Great for on the go. You've got your little mirror right there in the compact. And I feel like most cushion foundations have this kind of thin texture to them where they're, they're very comfortable to wear. Even the higher coverage ones, which this is, this is actually a higher coverage cushion foundation. I cannot get over how similar these two look side by side, but I will tell you, I don't think I will wear the Urban Decay to the level of coverage I did. I've been enjoying this, but I've been wearing it as light coverage. Can you see that it just doesn't look 
quite as nice around my nose. Whereas that thin texture of the cushion was so easy to work with. So easy to work with, covered beautifully. I did need to add a bit of powder to our cushion side, but I have to say it is, it's kind of wild how similar these two ended up looking, isn't it? How similar they look, how similar they feel, how similarly they wear. Again, I wore these two side by side. I, I felt like I was wearing the same foundation on both sides of my face. This is officially the first part in this video where we run into something interesting with the price per ounce. As you can see, the Urban Decay is pretty expensive, but it is also one fluid ounce of product. Cushion foundations are always smaller. This one is 0.42 fluid ounces, so less than half the size of this one. In addition to that, I bought this in a 10x points offer at Ulta, so uh, you know, those 10x points are pretty nice. I sure do miss the 10x points from YesStyle. <laughs> so in the end, I'm gonna give this category to the West. We've got beautiful shade ranges, and we have nice foundation options. But K-Beauty Brands, remember what I said, because I do really like cushion foundations too. I just, I want everyone to be able to use them. Our next category is going to be blush, and we are going with liquid blush. I know, I'm as shocked as you are. <laughs> What we're gonna use today is a new release that I got in PR from Bare Minerals. This is actually a shockingly nice release. It is their Complexion Rescue Blonzer. Bare Minerals released a blonzer product in the past with a lot of success. A lot of people really liked it. So they came out with it under their Complexion Rescue category with all of those benefits in a liquid form. And I have got to say, it is actually a beautiful product. It sounds gimmicky, but it actually works. It, it works. And I, I love this because I don't like bronzer. I can't believe how beautifully these build up. You know, you can wear these light if you just want a light application or you can keep building and it just always blends seamlessly into your skin. The shade that I'm wearing today is Kiss of Mauve, which is great for my lighter skin tone, but they go into some copper shades, some deeper tones to flatter a deeper skin tone. And by the way, they also released a highlighting blush option too, so if you're more of a blush and highlighter person, they have those options. If you prefer blush and bronzer, the bronzer. But you know, again, I gotta give it to K-Beauty because the Her Moist Ampoule, which is one of the best-selling liquid blushes in K beauty this is such a nice product that it is it is the product that got me liking liquid blush what you should know with this one is that it's really easy to apply on a fair or light skin tone because you see this intense pigment as you first apply it but the second you start blending it blends away which flatters fair skin because we can look overwhelmed by too much of a bold blush i mean do you you are always welcome to like a bold blush if you want but i do find this really easy to work with i love the dewy finish i'm just not sure if this will work on deep skin tones because of, ironically, the same properties that I like in it. So I feel like in this category, I'm just gonna have to call it a tie. Both of these are such interesting, good products, but for really such different uses. We are moving along quickly in this video. Our next step is going to be eyeliner. Keep in mind, I already have cluster lashes on. Side note, I'll have a lot to tell you about cluster lashes eventually. We're almost there. We're almost there. It's gonna be way too involved. <laughs> but I'm sure you all have noticed that in terms of trends, lately we've seen a lot less eyeshadow and a lot more just eyeliner. So we're gonna do just eyeliner today and on the Western side, we are gonna use the one size point made 24 hour liquid eyeliner. I feel like I've heard good things about this eyeliner for years, for years. <laughs> Basically since the brand came out, I finally got around to buying it and you know, it is good. It, it absolutely is incredible. It draws a real solid line, no skipping, no tugging. I don't know if I trust people to get their eyeliner right the first time every time. For me, we always have a little bit of cleanup to do, but it was minimal with this. It was pretty easy to control. Really, the only catch is this feels really lightweight in my hands. It just feels like cheap packaging. There's no way to sugarcoat it. That, that's how it feels. And yet it costs $19. I'm gonna share with you one of my secrets from Asian Beauty next. So this is the brand Hold Live. 
or maybe hold live. <laughs> it's really funny to realize uh, the English language requires context for certain words. It, it could be hold live, hold, hold a living, I don't know, baby animal, but it could be hold live, like eat, sleep, pray, hold, live. I don't, I don't know. But anyway, this is a Sea Beauty brand and they have incredible prices. And get this, this eyeliner, uh, it, it actually feels like better quality. It's heavier. This, this feels nice in your hand. It is a very precise tip. Granted, so precise that to get a thicker line, I have to go over my line twice. It is a brush tip liner. It really is a great formula. No skipping, no tugging. This feels like a real hidden gem to me. I've never seen anyone talk about this brand. I think I'm the only review on Yes Style. <laughs> and in the end, both of these look similar. They both have a matte appearance. They both apply easily and remove nicely as well. We're keeping it short and sweet today, so we have but one category left, lip products. Listen, as far as what is trending in the US, I mean, you all know. You all know because it's been trending to an absurd level. It's been absurd. No question about it. It is lip oils and lip balms. I bought the Jisoo Honey Infused Lip Oil. I bought this because of all the terrible reviews this was getting. No, no, hear me out. I just, I had to, I had to know. Right, curiosity killed the cat. We can't say that on YouTube. This is YouTube. Curiosity injured the cat. Thankfully, the cat is okay. Anyway, I, I love this. I absolutely love it. It's my favorite, so far at least, but let me tell you why. Flavor and taste. This is the uh, limited edition coconut, but it tastes and smells so good that uh, it's playing tricks in my mind. Don't get me wrong, I overanalyzed this so I could come on camera and tell you. Yeah, it's not necessarily that the formula is that much better. It's just that uh, they, they perfectly matched my preferences in taste and smell. Otherwise, it is a nice lip balm. I thought it was a little expensive. At least when I bought this from Sephora, I was able to stack the uh, 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 4X points on clean makeup with the bonus 100 points for clean skincare. A lip oil counts as both, so I, I got a lot of points back for buying this. As for our K-beauty side, can I just confess to you this was the hardest category for me to decide on because there's so many good K-beauty lip products and J-beauty lip products and C-beauty. I had to decide for this video, so I did decide on Florte. This is their limited edition lip cream. I wanted to go with this because I do feel that K-Beauty and C-Beauty are ahead of us right now in this uh, blurring lip category. These are like liquid lipsticks that don't dry down. They have kind of a whipped texture and a matte appearance and yes, a blurring effect. They smooth out lip lines. These are very easy to apply and realistically, you don't even need a lip liner. So you'll actually notice my lips will look a little more defined on our K-Beauty side versus our lip oil side. And one more thing, Asian Beauty is so good at cute products, but C-Beauty takes it to the next level. So you can use your lip cream like this or you can add the included figurine. Absolutely adorable, and th there's just so many options in Sea Beauty that are like this. Now, I will yet again say, you can probably see the price difference here, or should I say the price similarity? It was so hard for me to find the sizes of these products, but once I did, a lot clicked, a lot clicked. I've been going through especially Sea Beauty products pretty quickly over here. <laughs> I finished several powders, I finished several lip products, and I was patting myself on the back, but uh, lo and behold, I, I think these are all kind of more travel sized than I realized. This is obviously great in some ways. If you're the kind of person who wants a lot of different color options, oh my goodness, see beauty. If you have your favorites, you can just go with Western, I know. Or get this, K-Beauty is actually in the middle. It's a little bit more expensive than C-Beauty products, but it turns out you get more product and yet still less than Western products. It, it was so fascinating to be over here realizing this. So again, even though these are very different products as a whole, I, I am going to give it to K-Beauty in this category because of the options and the travel friendly sizes. But that's it, my friends. That's the final look. Let me know your thoughts.
Let me know if you enjoyed this video, if you would like to see more videos that are similar to this, maybe with some more J Beauty next time, maybe with more C Beauty. Let me know your thoughts, let me know if you've tried any of these products, and thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you all next time.